Late at night and with little fanfare, Florida's governor signed the restrictive new abortion bill into law. 70 days, 40 days, Mr. Speaker. After state legislators approved a ban on virtually all abortions after six weeks, before many know they're pregnant. We stand for life. We stand with mothers. It's a stunning move by a state with the highest abortion rate in the U.S. Demand for pregnancy terminations in Florida has soared by 60 percent since neighboring states have severely restricted access following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn federal protections. Essentially, this is kind of yet one more door closing on um, access to abortion in the American South. Yet Republican lawmakers keep trying to go further. They're pushing for a national abortion ban. Idaho recently made it a felony to assist a minor in obtaining an out-of-state abortion. Texas is attempting to block websites that offer information about reproductive rights. While a Texas judge revoked regulatory approval for mefepristone, the most commonly used drug in medical abortions. People that are going to be most impacted by not having access to these safe and legal pills are people who are low income. They are uh, most likely rural, um, usually people of color. Friday, the Supreme Court temporarily halted the Texas ruling. The court could make a formal ruling on access to mefepristone as early as next week. We are going to continue uh, to fight in the courts. Uh, we believe that the, uh, the law is on our side and we will prevail. Our choice! It's clear abortion will be a defining issue in the 2024 election. A majority of Americans support legal access. I think the more the stakes are raised and the more the prospect of a nationwide criminal ban is on the table, the harder that's going to be for American voters. That likely won't stop the race toward more restrictive measures as Republicans shift further to the extremes, putting reproductive rights on the line. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.